What's going on? It's Brian. We go to you mechanics. I am out here working on a Honda Odyssey. Customer complaint. No start, no power, nothing. Let's see what we got. All right, sticking the key in. No lights on the dash, no noises, absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna start with a battery diagnosis and we will go from there. Oh no, it's the infamous never start. Anybody in the industry knows that ever start batteries from Walmart are garbage. Every time I see a never start, I always tell the customer to get something better. Also, you want to notice on these batteries to look at the age. So that is a three-year-old battery. Um, so it's definitely lived past what I would expect a never start to live. But notice that the uh, voltage on this battery is 0 0.02 of a volt, which that's going to tell me that this battery is probably bad. Anytime a battery drains all the way down to zero, it's most likely killed a cell or two. Now I don't, you know, don't quote me on that. We may be able to put it on a charger and revive this battery, but for, from what I've seen, anytime that it goes all the way down to zero, the battery is bad. So I'm gonna to recommend to this customer to get a new battery and then we'll continue the diagnosis from there. Also, another thing that I noticed is the negative terminal is definitely loose. The positive terminal looks corroded and crappy and it's been pounded on. This one's been pounded on. So I'm also gonna recommend two new battery terminals with uh, some cleaning on the wire. And just like that, the customer has a new battery. And just like that, the customer has a new battery. Now I know what you're thinking. There's another Never Start in the car. A brand new Never Start from Walmart in the car and I just told you those are not good batteries sometimes we recommend things to the customer and they would rather go the cheaper option which is okay it's fine uh, do whatever you want I'm just giving you my professional recommendation if you want to go the cheaper route that is fine we go to you mechanics does not discriminate but we will let you know exactly what we think is best for your vehicle and it's up to you ultimately to decide so now that we got the new battery in, let's see if the vehicle starts. Looks like we got more problems, huh? Brand new battery, no power to the dash, no power to the ignition, no start. So looks like we're gonna look for the problem. So let's check our brand new battery. We're gonna go ahead and see we got 12.2 volts on the brand new battery, so the battery's good. And now my first prime suspect is gonna be the fuse box where we are gonna find the 120 amp battery fuse. All right, and that's gonna be right here. So let's see if we've got power going into the fuse. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my probe right there. We've got power going into the fuse. Do we have power coming out of the fuse? And that is a negative. No power coming out of the fuse. Let's just double check. Check a different couple different areas. You never want to just check on the screw. Always check a couple different areas just to see if you've got power loss somewhere else. And there is no power coming out. So that tells me that this fuse right here is blown. So we got a little bit more, a little more than just a battery replacement. We're gonna go ahead and get another fuse for this, put it in, and then see if we can figure out what happened. So here's a good opportunity for me to show y'all how to test some of these fuses, because some fuses aren't like where you can look down in there and see if they're blown. This one has kind of a haziness on top of it. It's really hard to look down in there and see if they're blown so if you're you're questioning whether or not it's blown or not i mean I, I know it is because i checked the power on one side and the other but 
If you're questioning, you can always set your multimeter to uh, ohms and then check and see if you've got homage between the, the two pins. If not, you know that fuse is, uh, is blown, no electricity can pass through, so that's a bad fuse. Also, there's another way. You can take your little pocket screwdriver and you can pop this little top off and look down in there and see. I'm going to let the camera adjust. You can see that it's blown right there. There's no uh, connection. All right. We got a new fuse in there. Good fuse. Now let's try to start the car. All right, looks like we got good power, good ground. All right, so the car started, got good power, got good ground, good battery, good fuse. And, uh, you know, we go to you mechanics doesn't just come out and fix the car. Like we come out, we fix the car, and we find out why the car messed up in the first place. A good mechanic always finds out why something happened not just replace the parts and walk away and get paid we find out why it happened so it won't happen again so we got two questions first question why did the battery die it could be an alternator issue it could be uh, an amp drain somewhere in the battery somewhere in the system it could be a parasitic draw something was left on when it shouldn't be left on um, it could have just been a bad battery um, Second thing why did the fuse blow? Okay, so we're going to inspect both of those Those causes and try to find out what's going on I never got copies in my name. So I think I found out why the battery drained If you notice the car's not running keys in my hand The tail light is on brake lights on so the brake light is staying on. That's what killed the battery. So let's check out why the brake light is staying on. On most cars, there's a brake switch under here. If you look right here, this is your brake switch. It goes right through here into this mount. On the other side of the brake switch is a button there's a button right here so when you press the pedal it's supposed to release the button and turn the lights on and when the pedal comes back it's supposed to press up against that button but you can see right here I'm trying to do this one-handed you can see right here there's just a hole right there there's a little grommet that goes inside this brake pedal part right here so that whenever you release the pedal, it presses on that button. And look what I found on the floorboard. This is part of pieces of that grommet that I'm talking about. So we're going to get this customer a new grommet. And there she is. For those of you that don't know, there is a what's called a help aisle in your local parts store. There's an aisle full of uh, just random things in there. You can go in there and ask them uh, for the Dorman. Uh, they call it the brake and clutch pedal stop pads. But basically, we're going to put those grommets in that hole, and then it should fix that problem. All right, so we got the new grommet in. I couldn't show you one-handed, but basically, you just put the grommet in that hole, get you some channel locks, and... Uh, Squeeze that grommet in there. Uh, make sure you don't squeeze too hard because you can crush the grommet, but now you can tell that when the brake pedal releases, it hits that button and turns off the brake light. All right, car's off, keys in my hand, brake light is off. We got a good battery, good fuse. We got a car that starts, we got a brake light that's working properly no amp drains no parasitic draws the only question left was to figure out why that 120 amp fuse uh, blow 
So I started asking the customer some questions and I asked him if he got a jump, if he tried to get a jump start. Because a lot of times, a lot of people don't know this, but if, if you get, if you got a smaller car, smaller SUV, something with a smaller battery, and you try to get a jump start from like a big old diesel or something with a lot of power, then it can, it can blow that main battery fuse. And sure enough, he told me that somebody pulled up and they had a gasoline generator and they hooked up the gasoline generator to the battery to try to start it. So that's what blew the fuse. So uh, my job is done here. I figured out uh, the fix. I figured out the cause. And uh, this customer is happy. Thank you for watching We Go To You Mechanics. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram.